Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Today we're going to be doing a FIFA 18 wishlist. Last year, I did the exact same type of video. I basically gave ideas I thought that would improve the game next year. Some of them, I don't expect actually happen, but they'd be quite cool to be implanted into the game. Um, so let's get straight into it. Uh, so I've got a whiteboard here. I don't know, some of it's like just video ideas and stuff. Um, but I've got a whiteboard in the corner. I've got loads of ideas. Um, so I might split it into two videos. I might do some of the ideas and if you like the idea of the video And I don't happen to get through all of the ideas then obviously leave a like on the video And um, I'll do a second part to this video. So the first thing I want to the first idea I have um, I basically I saw this months and months ago probably about five or six months ago uh, from the Pemphers uh, So it's not actually my personal idea, but it's in it's in like the SBC bracket so obviously SBC's are all personally or like primary players um, you can't submit anything else other than players in SPCs um, and one of the Pemphis' ideas was to be able to submit fitness and contract cards and get better versions of that. One of the ideas would be to submit maybe 5 or 6, maybe maybe even 11, but five, like 5 or 6 uh, fitness cards and in return you get a squad fitness so you might submit 6 silver cards and you'll get uh, a whole squad silver fitness card and then you might submit a bronze one or you might submit a gold one you get that respective one. Um, so basically what it would do is it would actually bring value to those cards because if you look on the market um, Pretty much all fitness cards are like 200 coins now especially contract cards all contract cards are literally have no value at all Obviously the fitness card that you get in return would have to be untradeable Otherwise you just make ridiculous profit and the market would be a bit broken then um, But you submit the cards so they make you for like 300 for maybe 400 maybe 500 coins Whereas before they'd be 200 coins have no value and um, yeah, I think that'd be a nice way to um, make you save some coins but at the same time make value to other things so that when you actually open a pack and get fitness cards you're kind of actually happy as opposed to just discarding them and yeah I think that's quite a good idea. Now the second idea, I actually said this uh, last year's one, is to be able to bring kit designs and stadium designs into the game so obviously this year if you want a kit you have to use a kit that's real but um, it would be cool to do something like they have on pro clubs uh, they've actually taken input in for pro clubs which was awesome they added in custom kit designs and badge designs which was a really really cool addition it is a chance that we could see it this year because obviously they put it into pro clubs so hopefully they do um, but you never know at the end of the day uh, kits are like an item on the game and it adds value so maybe we won't see it but hopefully one day we get to see it I don't know what you guys think about this. Me personally, and I did ask, I think, Skez and one of my friends, Owen, that you guys might know as well, about this. And it was a bit mixed opinions, but I think this would be a really cool idea. So, obviously here, when you're in your club, you have a player, and if you want to have them first owner, you have to pack them or get them in an SBC. So, in my club, I have quite a, pretty much everyone in my club's first owner that I use. I don't really buy players. Um, because I just open packs, see, pretty, I think everyone in this team is first owner. Um, because I just use players that I get from, S, uh, from, from champions, SPCs, or like pack rewards and stuff like that. So um, for me personally, I really like having first owner cards. It adds a little bit more sentimental, sen what's the word? sentimental, sentimental effect. If that's, if you understand what I mean, but it's a bit more personal cards. Um, for me personally, this would be awesome. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it'd be cool if you had an SPC where if you submitted the player and then maybe you had to add. Um, I don't know if you maybe had to add a team of the week or um, sort of just make a full goal team but you make sure that you have that player in. I don't know how it would work but um, I think it'd be cool if you could submit any player on the game and when you submit them they become a first owner card and untradeable. They have to be untradeable because some people pay to have like fresh cards so you could buy like um, Zola for example, the icon or legend. Uh, submit him, you get him first owner and then you could sell him on for more so that wouldn't really work. Um, but it'd be cool if you could buy any card because then you could be able to buy players from your own personal uh, clubs that you support. Get the first owner where you've been, because I've been trying to pack Leighton Baines all year, I've never packed him. Um, he's the only player I need to get a full Everton team. So it'd be quite cool if you could pack or you could buy any player off the market, um, submit them, get the first owner and then they'd be untradeable and you can have them in your club forever. And I think that'd be personally really sick. I don't know what you guys think about that. I definitely understand if you guys hate the idea of it. Um, I can fully understand if you don't like the idea, but I think it would be really cool and it'd be something quite like different and interesting to add into the game. And I think it would bring the, the prices of the like average players up as well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about that one. It's been an interesting one, but I think it'd be quite cool. I think Foot Champion is a bit of a lover or a hate it. At the moment, I hate it, but I loved it when it first came out. And it was a really, really good game mode. I think the, the problem is you have to commit so heavily to it because even my friends, I've brought a lot of friends on my um, list that I used to play at every single like weekend. 
and there is still quite a few people playing it to be fair but no one really completes it like um, Joe if he's one of my subscribers he might be watching the video now he used to get elite every single week I'm assuming he stopped at 21 wins because he just couldn't be bothered anymore um, Cameron used to be getting gold as well so yeah I just couldn't can't really be bothered to play it anymore and it's because it's, you have to play so many games so it'd be cool if you either extended the weekend league so maybe it started on Thursday ended on Tuesday um, or if they in decrease the amount of games you have to play or make it a weekday league or something just they changed it somehow to make it more playable for the average person because realistically unless you're absolutely sweating it every weekend you can't really compete in the weekend league um, and at the time I was like during last year I was happy to give up every single weekend because <laughs> it was literally giving up every single weekend to play all 40 games um, but I just can't it's just you can't do it anymore because you have so many things going on and if you're working it's just so hard it's just not it's not fun anymore it's more it became more sweaty than fun uh, so hopefully they change it slightly um, I don't know what they'll do but something has to be done to make it more playable for the average person I've got to do two last ideas because I've been recording for about 10 minutes and I don't want this video to be too long um, so my last two ideas are uh, the first one is draft so draft used to be so sick this year, I don't think it was actually touched, really. I'd, I'd be surprised um, I, if like the number of people playing draft was le more than half of what it was last year. But uh, so if we go on draft, I'm not gonna actually start one, but um, 15K and the 300 points, I think that's fine. The price you enter is fine, but they need to make the value or the rewards of draft a lot higher because draft is just not that fun anymore because you can play it, you can win all four, is it? I think it's four games. You can win all four of your games and lose money, which is just, it's just bullshit. Like, you shouldn't have to, you can't do any better than that. So, at the moment you bought your draft, regardless of how you performed. So yeah, at the moment you bought your draft at 15K, before you even started building it, you were destined to lose money, in theory. Um, which is just not fair in my opinion so I think they have to have they have like two options so they either give you a guaranteed coin bonus every single time you win the draft whether it's 5k 10k or 15k to cover the cost of the draft or they just give you a draft token back if you win it just something so that you guarantee you make your money back every time you do the draft because it's not fair that you can go in some people get knocked out first round pack like Messi that happened to me I went out in the first round pack Messi in a 5k pack last year whereas this year I won the draft I think three times in a row and I lost money it's just not fair so they have to do something so that you at least break even every time you do the draft and uh, to make it a bit more fair carrying on from the draft i think it'd be cool if you could do like a mini game with your friends so um i know i've seen a lot of people say this so it's not actually my idea um but it'd be cool if you could go into friendly seasons play a game load up and you could do like a draft with your friends so maybe you take turns or maybe you just build it together and you can get into a game or something like that but i think it'd be quite cool i don't know if you'd have to pay for it maybe you have to um which would kind of be I know a bit dodgy but I don't know how it would work in terms of being able to pay for it or if it's just free every time but you get to pay with your friends or something like that I don't know but it'd be cool if you could challenge your friends to a draft um, with being able to use the best players on the game against your friends okay and then the last thing I want to bring up um, is actually it is to do with foot it is to do with foot but it's also to do with pro clubs um, I wanted to keep this episode purely foot I might do a pro clubs video separately if you guys like the idea of that but um, I think it'd be cool I don't I can understand again if people completely shoot this idea down um, but I think it'd be quite cool so when foot champions or foot when FIFA ultimate team originally came out sorry um, you had your own don't know if it was the first ever edition but there was definitely one edition where you had to create a character uh, so you made yourself like a, basically a pro player on pro clubs you made yourself a pro and then you put him into your team and you could build players around him um, I don't know how links worked or anything because I only played it like for the demo um, but I know for a fact that you originally had a pro player and you built your team around him he was like your captain I think it was called my captain and I think it'd be quite cool I don't know how it would work if it'd be separate from pro clubs or the same thing but I think it'd be quite cool because then it would make pro clubs um, it'd give EA an excuse to work on pro clubs if that makes sense or um, it would force them to focus on it because um, if they linked it directly so this player I have at the moment called James Asagba um, and he's a goalkeeper um, he would be in my ultimate team as James Asagba goalkeeper and I could use him in my ultimate team and he would work as an icon so we link to every single player um, and I think that'd be quite cool I think it would mean that people would actually have a 
uh, what's the word, an interest in playing pro clubs as opposed to just doing it for fun. It would be more, I'm trying to improve my players so I can use them in the ultimate team. Um, I think that'd be quite cool. Make a more playability to pro clubs that make you try and get your pro better, make your pro better, sorry. And um, like I said, it would it, make a chance it give Ian a oh my god I can't even speak boys. <laughs> it give and it, it would it would give a, a, EA an excuse to work on the game, make pro clubs better because there's so much they could do. This could easily be the best game mode on the game, hands down in my opinion, because it's so so fun. But there's just not enough to do to make it replayable. One, which is obviously I'll save for another video, but I think it'd be quite a cool addition to the game. Don't know what you guys think about it, but I personally think it'd be a cool addition. So anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you agree with any of my ideas um, for my wish list, or if you have any of your own, obviously be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know any ideas that you guys have, or whether you think my ideas are good or bad, or anything. Just leave feedback on the video. Tell me what you think would be good on the, ne on the game next year. And um, yeah, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new on the channel, of course. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you will have a great day. Good luck in your weekend league, your SBCs, or whatever you're doing. And yeah, have a great day. And